Stephanie Vice on assignment. The coronavirus pandemic putting almost everything into question, including the future of education. Well, we're going to be open for the fall. It, the, the, it's not really a question of whether, it's how. And so we're in the midst of planning that now. Open in the fall and just into our newsroom planning for commencement, which will happen in September. Just in the last 10 minutes, UTEP announcing it will be celebrating its 2300 graduates with a ceremony at the Sun Bowl on Saturday, September 12th at 7 p.m. Each graduate will be allowed to bring two guests. Today, ABC7 sat down with UTEP President Heather Wilson via Skype to see what the university's plans are for the upcoming school year and how they plan to keep students safe. Will Heron has the story. Cal State plans on not having face-to-face -face contact at the university this coming fall, but the University of Arizona is fine with it. Local universities will as well, but with some restrictions. Dr. Heather Wilson, president of UTEP, told me they have identified classes this summer that must be taught in person, like certain labs. Those same classes will be taught in the fall. What they learn from observing in the summer, they will implement in the fall semester. Education is going to be part of America's recovery, and it always has been. And, and as we try to build the economy back from a tremendous shock, higher education is going to be crucial. And we have to meet that challenge for the community we serve. UTEP has facility managers going through each classroom on campus to find out their capacities and how they will fit the students in with proper social distancing. Dr. Wilson said she was given guidance from the University of Texas system chancellor, but he realizes each community is different and gave her plenty of latitude to plan for the fall. With coaches returning in the summer with their athletes, President Wilson said they will be used to gauge the proper solutions for the return of students in the fall. Dr. Wilson was also on a conference call earlier in the week with the United States Vice President Mike Pence and 14 other university presidents across the nation. She was the only Texas University representative on that call. Emphasize the need for agility and continuous learning by leaders. And, and uh, you have to deal with the circumstances you're in, may get good people involved, and make decisions when you need to. Coming up at 6, we'll have what NMSU is doing to protect their returning students and the special message President Wilson had for her graduating minors this year. Here on the west side of El Paso, I'm Will Heron, ABC7.